Guys, I need your help. This coming up December 27th, RH2 has started the Mayor Program. The Mayor Program is a new feature coming to Alpha that will end till, that will go on until the end of the year, starting the 27th. So, all players will be able to choose one candidate to become Mayor of RH2 from this list of all content creators. So, this is why I need your help. I need you guys to help me become Mayor of RH2 by voting in this little box my code which is vote for grizzles which is going to be in the description of the video and on your screen as we speak but yeah i really would like to become mayor of, of rh2 i would like to influence a few decisions with them and <laughs> have some fun and if i win there will be a giveaway so i would like this to happen so yep guys i i know this is the beginning of the video but enjoy the rest of the video guys Welcome back guys to another video on the Sir Gristles channel. Today I will be looking at the huge update log of uh, RH2 for this past few months where they have been working on Alpha. As you can see there's a lot of stuff in here so I will be talking about it completely. I'm going to go in detail for most of the things. There are some things I'm going to pass up on but um, if you guys would like to see specific parts of the video I will put some timestamps in the description of the video. So. If you guys would like to see specific parts, just don't be afraid to go down there and click a specific time and I will, and you will be seeing those parts. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with this video. So for the first thing that we'll be talking about is the bug fixes. I'm going to go slightly uh, quicker on this one since it's just small bug fixes that were already in the game. Um, but yeah, so the first thing, fixed uh, stealing while players passing. That is a big one that I have been victim of. Uh, especially uh, one of my friends, he has been really like annoyed by that. Chest passes, buff fix, less likely to get stolen. Plus, ball doesn't doesn't look weird in the air. Yeah, I, 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 that one I slightly disagree. I think overhead should be um, more likely to get stolen. But I, I see what they mean by the less likely part because sometimes you would pass, it would go like literally through a guy's body, and then he'll pick it up. Like it, it would be weird. Um, fixed, uh, being able to do multiple dribble moves when you are pushed. Oh, that, that was, uh, basically called dribble glitching. Uh, so they fixed that one, but there's probably going to still be dribble glitching in the game. Bug where two people grab a ball should be fixed. Yeah, that, that one's a big one. Random flying away glitch should be fixed. Bug where you can't pick up a ball should be fixed. Bug where you can't, can climb onto the rim when performing a dunk is fixed. Floor animation is smooth. That one is actually a big one that I think a lot of people are going to like because as a guy that has liked to do floaters, um, like at the beginning of uh, RH2, which I stopped doing due to the floater animation being really easy to block and very weird, uh, they've smoothened it out, so I'm going to be happy about this this change. Uh, screen loops coll colliding with players. Uh, I don't understand that one just yet. Uh, screens can't be set on prom defense. That's good to know screen hitbox are now connected to the strengths that bigger stronger players will set more efficient screens that can knock players down Ooh, That is a really good one So now the actual strength stat is actually going to end like the to the height of the player is actually going to affect How can somebody set a screen that is very good? Uh, shooting during a dribble move is fixed. So that's good a uh, double green bug uh, haven't been victim to that one. Uh, green is less laggy or particle wise. Okay, that makes sense. Slide shot fixed. Uh, oh, I guess like shooting while moving. That, that makes sense. When blocking a player jumps, uh, when blocking players jump towards the player holding the ball. Good. That was a big one. Fixed dunk glitches where players can't, doesn't gain any air. Oh, that's that. So deadless. If you're in this, this one, bro, uh, you have been that, or you've been there way too much. Uh, fixed where bug. Uh, fixed bug where you sp your speed with ball disappears when you start sprinting. Fixed now, okay. Uh, bug where acceleration wasn't scaled properly. Fixed now, okay. For the second thing that we'll be talking about, guys, is the issue fixes. So this is more kind of like the bug fixes, but this is like the big issues, uh, like in in the game. So this is gonna be a bit more. Um, so uh, ball no longer teleports into a hoop when a player dunks. So that makes sense. I've seen that one. Uh, shooting right after doing a dribble move quickly will result in a smoother, more 
guardable shooting after dribble feature. Shooting, I don't understand this one. So shooting right after doing a dribble move quickly result will quickly result in a smoother, more guardable shooting after dribbling feature. Basic way of shooting out of a dribble move has small delay in user shooting after. Okay, so there's a small delay after shooting. Okay, good. Um, advanced way of shooting out of dribble. Little, little to no delay in user after move. Okay. Um, speed and acceleration attributes are not as powerful as pre-alpha, so that's good. No longer can player more easily zigzag and shoot out of turn back around bas turn back towards the basket. So that's good. So they, I'm guessing now what they mean is if you have your back turn and you want to run right for the paint, uh, your acceleration will regather, which is way better. Way better in my opinion. Zigzagging should be less effective since acceleration matters more than before. Players don't slide teleport on court. So that's good. Uh, fix the three-point arc range issue. People were shooting threes and it was counting as twos. Okay. Uh, picking a ball up while sprinting is fixed. It's now speed a, pl a player probably. Pro pro properly. Okay, probably, probably. Uh, stat gap with ball hand dodge speed is decreased. Okay. Uh, stat gap with ball speed attribute is decreased. Dribble chain speed is faster. That's good. Nerf the ball handle requirement for minus 10 attributes for all moves. Annoying court texture glitch fixed. Uh, green windows are synced better. So that's good. Stealing stat gap is decreased. Difference in output between attributes has been least. Blocking stat gap is decreased. Difference, okay. Uh, mismatch gap is better. Center's PFs are harder to bully in the post by stronger guards. Interior defense strengthen alongside importance of strength. So now, bigs are going to have a hard time guarding guards uh, in the perimeter. But now, smalls are actually going to have a hard time guarding bigs in the paint. So that's a good, that's a good news. That's good news. Data saving issue fixed. Okay. Fixed player joining with uh, nil builds. So no builds. So it's a glitch. There was a issue where stamina wasn't scaling properly with shots now fixed. Good. Uh, issue where turning animations while shooting is fixed. All right. For the next part of the video, we will talk about the added features coming into the game. So this is all the new th stuff that I don't think we have heard of yet. So let's get on with this part. So game now supports reverse jelly layups that hits the backboard. So that is pretty cool. If you guys would like to see it, the Giezo link is right under that. Uh, normal camera type change for a smoother, more realistic feel. Camera slightly bounces with movement for tighter gameplay feel. So that is a W and a half. Um, uh, for, since I am a uh, controller player, uh, me needing a, a new camera type was one of my recommendations. And I think they have done it. So that is a W for me. Uh, custom alley-oop system enabled. Player can press R plus uh, player number to throw catch alley-oops, which is really good, but the only problem is I have asked one of the developers or uh, one of the uh, community managers uh, how to do it on controller. They are not sure. Uh, so they will go and ask uh, Rel or Nas and they'll come back to me. Catch and shoot badge added. So self-explanatory on what that does. Shoot better off catch and shoot. Lob City passer badge added. Attached to pass accuracy stat. Uh, Lob City badge added. Uh, attached to standing dunk stat. Okay, so Lob City finisher and Lob City passer have been um, upped, and it's for a standing dunk stat. So, bigs, uh, you guys got to go standing dunk if you guys want Lob City finisher. Rebounding update. So, this one I've been, I've seen in the last one. So, uh, better rebounding, uh, better uh, animations, and it will go and. Um, your animation is going to change depending on your offensive defense rebound stat. So, uh, if this is mainly for the guys that sp that press uh, space bar for rebounds. Um, so, be ready for that. Um, yeah, the new rebounding animations too. Uh, bailout passes are finally in the game. A bailout badge is also now added, so that's good. Uh, catch and shoot badge added. Ca contact animations with, uh, with alley-oops. Mismatch and difference, uh, mismatches and difference it says in height make a difference now. Get back down by 7 to 230 center as a 630 180 guards feels much different now than in 
pre-alpha so now switches are not going to be as uh, so now like switches are going to be more important so that's good to know giant slayer badge added brick wall ba badge added uh so those are a few more big man badges um brick wall badge info player will, who walk into your screen pick have a chance of falling so that's a basically a sitting feature so i'm guessing if a player s runs if you have this badge and you run into a screen like sprint into it you have a chance of falling uh brick wall falling added dimer badge added so dimer receives a boost chance to making their shot so it wasn't in the game before but now it is so now i'm gonna go for a playmaker nowadays so that's good unplugable badge added pluggable badge in info decreased chance of getting the ball stolen so that's good uh core mid-range increased uh area of where a shot is considered a viable mid-range shot has been increased uh, court three range decrease so now it's actually like if you're on the line you're probably going to count as a two point so that is very good to know uh because um there's a lot of people that i've seen where they abuse where they go to the paint and they run out and do an acro shot but they jump from like the two point line they they finish it a green from the three point line they count as a three so it doesn't make sense so now i think this is way more um uh you know uh, way better change post range increased highly agree on this one because uh, the only like um the range of the post shot was in like a mini circle around the paint or like a like a like a imagine like a small arc surrounding the paint and that's where your post shot was so now i'm guessing it's going to be the entire two point which is way better uh, acceleration is based on our new uh, court grip system so defensively low acceleration will cause you to slightly slip on the court almost like an uncoordinated defender would oh goodness okay so now they're adding sliding to the game so that's kind of that's kind of, I'm, I'm not the best with that but uh yeah floater range increased by five studs okay now let's get on with the balance updates so balance updates are the stuff in the game that were um that you know like stats that were like too um that were you know a bit of a problem so balance to do a moving dunk players must be have to be moving towards the hoop and have some distance between the them and the rim standing dunks are now activated even if a player is moving and dunk close to the hoop is now so now you don't have to stand still to do a standing dunk that's good speed stat gap should be a bit more balanced so okay so now before like you would have 90 speed against a 95 speed but 95 speed would absolutely dust you so that's good to know um speed gap okay uh nerf deep range um nerf deep range greens highly agree on that one people are greening from the freaking half court line like if it was nothing um nerf green window for all shots except close shots okay that's good to know uh lesson contest lesson contest needed to green a layup nerf okay good uh Nerfed whites, very agree on that one. Too many whites are going in. Uh, buff the interior contest range, good. Uh, defense buff to the interior, defense buff to the perimeter. So now it's going to be way harder to score on people. So that's good to know. Defense buff to dunks and defense defense nerf to post moves. That is a big, um, that's that's a huge one there. Uh, post control attribute determines on how fast the player is moving in the post. Good. A huge dribbling buff on the amount of space you make. Remember the attribute that determines space is the ball handle. Uh, huge dribble speed buff. Reminder: the attribute is determined space is, is speed with ball. Good. Uh, small buff to stumbles. Now it requires 60 handle to make a player stumble when they reach. Okay, good to know. Uh, step back nerfed. Um, pretty good. Uh, cause. I remember step backs were kind of like you know step back drives and i think they're gonna make it slightly slower so that's good uh balance range for more green lock badges okay oh good defensive range okay yeah so like above their head you'd have a green so they they changed the range so they made the that's gonna be a defensive thing so even with that sliding they put a lot of buff on defense which i agree with uh mismatch or balance yeah uh, mismatches buffed in post as in pg won't be backing down a center okay that makes sense uh, dribble moves that uh, take a bit more stamina. Okay, good to know. So now you can't just go like spin move, spin move, spin move, and then you'll be fine. Um, acrobat badges now increase reverse layup 
and no longer supports close floaters. Okay. So now they actually involve your um, reverse layup. Okay, that's good. Acrobat badge now. Okay. Uh, Lob City Passer badge upgraded. Good. Uh, range Extender badge now only works for three deep threes. Okay. Deep Phase badge only works for deep twos and threes. Okay. Handles for Days badge buff. Good. Now let's get on with the plaza lo update log. So let's see what they put on in the new plaza. New shopping district with new shops, game modes, and new areas added. Some building as well as the board boardwalk and scenery has been reworked. Reset tokens are added instead of slot resets. Okay. Uh, build reset confirmation added. Uh, there are two more slots at, uh, added, making a number of... Of slots in game five so that is really good three free two paid okay 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 okay. so that's really good so now there's three slots for three uh so if you didn't remember so before it was three slots one free two you had to pay but now it's five slots three that are free and two more that you have to pay so it's kind of like rb world less saving issues okay 25 percent off clo in clothing shops for player with the pre-alpha badge good uh player progression you now gain RH coins, upgrade points, and start at 60 overall. All right. Um, UI reworked, menu UI reworked, upgrading UI fixed, shopping UI is revamped, player card UI is now based off overall. Good. Uh, player section gradient is now based off overall. Perfect. Let's get on with the last two parts, which is the build creator and pre alpha perk. So for build creator, plus 150 more attribute points. Um, 95 stat cap for any stat, so I, that's good. Uh, badge uh, requirement reworked. Uh, strength shooting, um, strength shooting defense presents have been changed for some positions. Okay, that's really good. Uh, pre alpha perks, 25% uh, off clothing shops. Exclusive pre alpha hack. Start with 20k coins instead of 15k, and start with 180 upgrade points. 72 overall instead of 150 for 70 overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I think this is going to be a really good game when it comes out in two days. I will be definitely streaming all day, every day when the game comes out. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And um, if you guys enjoyed, like I said, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Ready, let go. Uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know. Yeah, so